What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So before diving into the Security Plus, I personally took the CompTIA A Plus and during my studying for, even before I even started studying for the CompTIA A Plus, I knew I wanted to get into cybersecurity and I knew I was going to take the Security Plus at some point. So I was really just looking forward to taking the Security Plus during my A Plus studying. So once I got to the Security Plus, uh, I was quite excited to dive into the content and there is some really cool content in there. If you are truly interested in cybersecurity and you want to dive into the industry, uh, there's a lot of really interesting things in the certificate, like you learn about all the different types of attacks, um, you learn about authentication methods like Kerberos, which helps you down the line in penetration testing for Active Directory, and it just gives you like a nice picture of cybersecurity as a whole and maybe will help you find what path you want to go down in the industry. Uh, just a note, I'm not affiliated with CompTIA whatsoever. I just wanted to give you guys my two cents. So in this video, I'm going to describe my study plan uh, that I used to pass the CompTIA Security Plus on my first attempt. And I use the same strategies on my CompTIA A Plus to pass that exam on my first attempt as well. This study plan approximately took me six weeks to prepare for. And I was um, doing this like full time. It wasn't like I had another job uh, on the side or I had other time commitments. I was studying for this uh, full time. So if you do have other time commitments, definitely prepare a little bit longer uh, than that six week that six week time frame. And at the end of this video, I will provide you guys some ways to save some money on the CompTIA Security Plus. So definitely stick around for that. And without further ado, guys, let's dive right into this video. The first phase of the journey to Security Plus certification is the preparation phase. So before diving into studying for the Security Plus exam, there are two things you want to do to prepare. So the first one is to book your exam. So it's really important to book your exam before you start studying so you don't procrastinate uh, and you make sure you complete all the things you need to complete every day to be prepared uh, to pass that exam at the, when the actual time comes. So for me, I booked my exam six weeks out and if you do, if you are following the same study plan as me, definitely book your exam at around that same time period. Uh, if you have other time commitments, then you can book your exam at a later date. The second thing you want to do is build a notion checklist with all the exam objectives for the Security Plus. And you may be asking, what are the exam objectives? And I will show you right now. So if you simply search up uh, CompTIA exam objectives in Google and go to this first link here, uh, you will be brought to this screen where you can fill your information, fill out the certificate you want to get, and uh, press submit. So this will send the uh, CompTIA exam objectives to your email and from there you can download them onto your computer. So I already have the CompTIA exam objectives downloaded and for this exam you need a 750 on a scale of 900 to pass and as you can see here these are the exam objectives so we have five major topics here I won't go into too much detail on the topics and some sub uh, exam objectives here so these are really the topics that you want to be uh, getting familiar with. So as I mentioned earlier, you want to create a to-do list here. So here, as you can see on the screen, we're using Notion, which is a great note-taking app. I highly recommend it. If you prefer another note-taking app or are already using, let's say, OneNote or Joplin, just stick to what you're using. But you, what you want to do here is make a to-do list with all the uh, objectives from the exam objectives PDF that you downloaded. You can copy them from the PDF. Uh, the formatting gets a little screwed up, but it will make it uh, a bit faster um, for you to copy them for this Notion uh, to-do list. All right, guys, so you have booked your exam on the CompTIA website. You have built your Notion checklist or whatever note-taking app you chose to use uh, with the exam objectives. And now you're ready to dive deep into the content and uh, get ready for uh, preparing for your CompTIA Security Plus. All right, so now you are ready to uh, take on the main learning portion of the CompTIA Security Plus. So in order to do this, the, mes the methods that I took was I read the e-learning study guide, which is essentially an online textbook um, that covers all the exam objectives. And each chapter has the exam objectives listed that's going to be covered in that chapter. And once I saw the exam objectives and I read through the chapter, and let's say I came across an exam objective, I'd make a cue card on online software and then once I made a cue card for that exam objective, I crossed it out on my to-do list with all the exam objectives that I listed from earlier. And I essentially continued this process until all my exam objectives were uh, completed on my Notion checklist. 
So right now I'm just going to show you the resources I used for this process just so you guys can uh, install them on your own computers if you'd like. So firstly to get the e-learning study guide if you go to CompTIA's bundles uh, on their website I recommend purchasing a Security Plus basic bundle as you can see here on the screen. Uh, this comes with uh, an exam voucher which is just an exam attempt, a retake attempt and the e-learning study guide which I mentioned earlier in the video. The next part of the process would be making those cue cards um, for every exam objective that you come across in your chapter. So if you took the A plus or the network plus before you probably won't have to do a cue card for absolutely every exam exam objective but for the most part I did I covered most of the exam objectives with my cue cards. So Anki is a really great software. Uh, it's used by medical students. Uh, I, whoever made this software must have had to memorize so much content because it's such a good software for really ingesting tons of information and memorizing some when needed. All right, so now you have your software for making your cue cards and you, can, uh, you have your e-learning study guide to uh, read the exam objectives and understand the content. And then as you're going through, once you finish your cue card for a specific exam objective, uh, you want to go to your notion checklist that you made earlier and cross out that exam objective so you know you're finished. And this is essentially the workflow. So just to recap, uh, you want to read uh, the e-learning study guide and at the top of each chapter it will tell you what exam objectives are covered in the study guide. So as you go through and you come across an exam objective or a topic, you want to make a cue card using Anki software. Once you have uh, made that cue card, you want to cross off on your notion checklist that that exam objective is in fact completed and you're ready to keep going uh, through your process. All right, so now you have uh, completed all your exam objectives, you have finished your cue cards and you finished the e-learning study guide. So at this point, you've already come a long way and I'm sure you feel uh, like you're just that much closer to the Security Plus certification. So the next phase, as you may have guessed, would be to review your cue cards. So just as a pre-warning here, um, if you do, like me, have a quite a, a few cue cards, I had around 500 cue cards, I think it showed earlier in the video, um, you do want to save a few days um, to review these. Because if you think about it, like a cue card probably will take one or two minutes to review, and if you have 500 to 600 cue cards, um, this, will have, will, this will be this will sum up to quite a few hours. So definitely prepare. Uh, the review period is really important and after you'll feel uh, like you definitely know the content uh, very, very well. All right, so now you have uh, finished your review of your cue cards and now you want to get hands on with the material. So you want to actually get practicing uh, with the material and simulate a test environment so you feel ready during your test. And how I'd recommend going at this is doing Jason Dion's practice exams. So the great thing about Jason Dion's practice exams is he asked the questions very similar uh, in a very similar way to how they are asked on the CompTIA exam. So when I first took the CompTIA A plus exam, I was wasn't used to uh, how they asked their questions on their exams, and Jason Dion really helped simulate uh, kind of how CompTIA asks those questions. It's almost like a mirror of the same style that CompTIA uses. Jason Dion recommends you get a 90% on his exams before moving on to the certificate exam. Just a note here, I did not get 90% on any of my practice exams for the A plus core one, core two, and the security plus, and I was able to pass these exams on my first try. So this doesn't necessarily mean not to aim for that 90%. It definitely will help you going into the security plus, but I'm just a prime example that you don't need the 90% um, before going into the security plus certificate exam to pass the exam. Another note here is the uh, Udemy course here is $99 as you can see. Uh, Udemy always has sales and you can even email them for a discount code so don't pay the full price for these courses. You can definitely get them cheaper even under $20. All right, so the time has come. You have finished your cue cards, you've finished your review, uh, give yourself a pat on the back, you've already come a long way and now it is time to tackle the Security Plus certification exam. My number one tip during the CompTIA Security Plus exam is to keep your composure. So let's say you're doing a performance-based question and you are just completely lost. You, you think you got it wrong, maybe you skipped it, um, and you're going to come back to it later, but it's kind of making you a little bit uh, edgy or panicky or you're, you're kind of losing your composure. So just know you prepared very thoroughly for this exam and um, if you don't get a few performance-based questions right, you can still pass the exam through the multiple choice. Um, so don't panic if you don't get some questions right. Keep your composure. You definitely prepared very thoroughly. If I can pass the exam through this process, you guys definitely can too. So you definitely got this. 
uh, just stay focused and don't panic throughout the throughout the exam. As I promised at the beginning of this video, I was going to mention some ways to save money on your CompTIA purchases. So how I went about saving some money was purchasing the CompTIA Store Club membership. So the CompTIA Store Club membership is a one-time uh, $50 per purchase, um, and then after that you get 20% off on uh, all your other CompTIA purchases. I think it's for uh, one year. So I just did some math here, and the CompTIA basic bundle that I mentioned in this video is $565. So if you were to uh, purchase the store club membership, that's $50, you would save $113 on the actual uh, basic bundle. So you save over 50 bucks uh, just by purchasing the store club membership on the actual certificate. And I just want to mention that this strategy and this study plan uh, worked really well for me, but everyone has different learning uh, strategies and ways that they learn. So some people prefer uh, to watch videos instead, instead of reading uh, to ingest information. And one of the main things I recommend in this video was the e-learning study guide, as I do stay true to that method to uh, learning and doing well and passing the certificate. Some people don't like to read uh, textbooks and guides uh, to gather their information. So there are other ways of learning the content. You can use Udemy. There's really high rated Udemy Security Plus courses that you can use. I'm not going to recommend them because I personally uh, did not use them, but if you don't want to follow this this plan uh, word for word, uh, I recommend just kind of using some pieces from the plan and kind of making it your own uh, that works for you. So guys, I hope this video helps. If it does, please do give it a like below. If you want to see more cybersecurity related content, do subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time.